Hello. Hello. Well, who are you waiting for? Uh, my husband. Your husband? Yeah. Ah, as, where has he been? Uh, he's been in Pakistan for four months, actually. For four months? Yeah. Wow. My heart is pounding. <laughs> yes, are you excited? And who's this beside you? My daughter. Hi, are you waiting for your dad? Yeah. It's been the first time, actually. I, we've been away this much. I never left him for one night for all these 18 years. So it's been the first time. Why has he gone to Pakistan? His brother died last year, so he's the only one to take care of his sisters. And is that a, a role that he has to fulfill? Yes. Yeah. It's OK. It's our culture to take care of our family. But you're glad he's coming back to you? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> Tell me how you met your husband. Arranged marriage. Yeah? Yeah. Did you know him growing up? Uh, no. He's no. older than me. <laughs> He's older than you? Yeah. He was my mom's second cousin. And we, my mom just asked me that they have, that family is asking for our, your proposal. Are you agree? And I had no issue because he was becoming a doctor. He's a physician. So he's a. He's becoming a well-established man. I said, OK, it's all right. He's older than me. He's eight years older than me, but it's OK for me. And I was 18 then. What did he say to you that first meeting? What did, do you remember the very first thing he said to you? <laughs> I, actually, my mom's, uh, he was my mom's cousin, so he's like uncle to me. Like, we, we, in our culture, we call them Mamu. It's a culture. Uncle is a mamu. So first I met to him after Menge, I said mamu, and he was like... <laughs> then my mom said, don't call him that. <laughs> you should not. He's now your fiancé. No, what should I call him? I cannot say his name. Because it's disrespectful to say elder's name. So after that, it's good. It's good. Now I can call him Kamal. Sometimes we hear, you know, arranged marriages are difficult. I don't think so. In our culture, arranged marriages, you have the back of your whole family with you. In the time of ups and downs, they are with you. After four days of my wedding, I was literally crying. Oh, I have to stay with this man for whole my life till the death do us apart, no way. But then I found out, no, when you get Married and you are living with a person 24 hours a day. The main thing is communication. We had a lot of communication, a lot of feelings and sharing everything, everything. So it's it's good to have the arranged marriage, but that arranged marriage goes into the love marriage. Oh, I've never heard it put that way. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's 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 happening this way. So he has sense of humor. He's a great doctor, but he has all the time for his family. What have you learned about yourself in this separation time? We can't live apart. We can't. It's, it's the, like, till the death do us apart. It's the real deal. <laughs> it's the real deal, yeah. You remind me of everything I love. I'm so excited to see Baba. Yeah, you remind me of everything I love. The straw underneath this blanket And the stars that catch your eyes And the moment where you are closer by my side Oh, Baba, okay. You remind me of everything Amazing else. video! Yeah, you remind me of everything I love A smile that's so much bigger than the smiles that I have seen And it makes me realize That there is so much more than what I've seen